Hi guys, Mary Languish here. Welcome to my channel. This is another drawing tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw some bubble letters or letters or text in perspective. So it's really easy and I recommend that you just use your name to practice because you know your name really well and um, it's just a good place to start when you're trying to learn to create your text in a little bit more interesting way. Now, if you like this video, I do have a full course on how to use drawing to communicate ideas. Check it out in the link in the description below to see my teachable page and drawing to communicate course by me, Mary Langwish. First tip is just to practice drawing lightly because a lot of times with really any drawing, you're going to start with something and then you're going to want to erase parts of it later. Okay. So with this particular thing of me teaching you how to draw bubble letters, you want to write your name really lightly. And let's start with capitals in capital letters across the page, kind of eyeballing, you know, how, how long do I need to go? keeping the spacing even if you can along the way. Now the easiest way to do bubble letters is to first start with the line version or capital letters of your name. Then once you've had that, you can go around that basic line with an actual line that's maybe darker that you would keep and you can do soft edges. So curved around your line like this. Or you can do more block letters with the same idea. So we're starting with your name and then going around that line with more geometric sharp edges. You can go behind other letters. You could go in front of other letters. Totally up to you but starting with your name really lightly is a huge helpful first step. And once you've drawn that, you can easily erase the lines on the inside and you have beautiful, perfect bubble letters. Now let's say you wanted to add a little bit of perspective. This one here with block letters is really easy to do that. Every corner, if I wanna be looking kind of up into the side of the letters, I can choose my corners and go in a specific direction, making all of the corners parallel with a short line like this, all the way across, inside corners as well as outside corners can all go in that direction. And then you want to create a parallel line, just like the edge of your letter, connecting those little short lines together. So parallel line, parallel line, Parallel line, parallel line, parallel line, parallel line. These come in handy to know how to do for things like garage sale signs. I see it all the time where people just do one line, you know, as thick as they can with the marker, but from a distance, even from like just five feet away, it's hard to read, right? So knowing how to be able to create bold letters like this, you can really improve your communication and improve the point you want to get across, make it really clear and, um, but easy to do, right? And then to just add a little bit more flair, you can add some shading to the sides. really fun to do in marker. And again, you can change the perspective by going a different direction from those corners with that short line and flip the perspective either direction. Let's try it one more time. Let's try it from the view of looking down at the letters. Looking down at the letters, I can go this direction with the corners, keeping them all parallel. It's technically fool's perspective is what it's called, but an easy way to create a little bit of interest to your drawings and then create the parallel lines to the edges of your letters. Curves kind of just follow the curve. Um, do I want this to go in front? Maybe. Mm 
just like that. So I hope this helps you in improving your signage and titles using drawing. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And again, if you're interested in more content like this in a full mini course, you can go to my Teachable page linked down in the description below and look under Drawing to Communicate. It's a perfect course if you want to learn some drawing, brush up on your skills, know how to use drawing to communicate an idea clearly, effectively, and quickly. So thanks again for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.